Uh, Brian, man. Oh, Brian, what's up, God. dude? Patrice, what's up, man? How you doing, man? All right. Here's the deal, man. I'm trying to give a bitch a chance. Wait, I'm sorry, Brian. Sorry, start all over. I'm sorry, dude. Go ahead. I've been seeing this girl on and off for about five years. We took about almost a year break. We bumped into each other at the bar a couple weeks ago. I made her feel like an idiot in front of a bunch of friends she never met. Next thing you know, I'm drunk, calling her at 3 in the morning. We were talking. Next thing you know, we're seeing each other again, talking for a couple of weeks. Things are going all right. Uh, so you know what it sounds like? You, you can tell me if I'm wrong. It sounds like you got back with a out of out of disgust for your own actions that you that you did, meaning that you was trying to be a good guy and you made her feel dumb and you, you don't dislike her. You was a little emotional. You, you make, But now you almost are back with her as sort of a – an apology for your behavior? Right, right. You know, feelings came through again. Uh, was, it, uh, was it feelings or you just... Guilt. Put it this way. If I break up with my girl, man, I got, a, I got like three ex-girlfriends that I still... Like that, that you know, I care about in terms of... Yeah, you know, I would never leave... Yeah, up. the bitch ain't going to be stuck. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But it's like, you know, I, if I embarrassed her or something, you know what I'm saying? You might be like, oh, man, I didn't want to hurt her like that. Right. So you fucking hurt her feelings. And you didn't want to hurt him. You were you were being a, a, a you were being a dick. But now the the reason he's calling is he's stuck <laughs> because now he's he's rinsing out that guilt shit. Now he's going holy fuck. You know what it's like? It's like having a two year one night stand, which I've had before. Mm. I fucked a bitch and was like two when I was younger. You fuck a bitch and you go you, you're too immature to go. Listen, I think you should be leaving. Mm. Isn't that friends with benefits though? Basically, that's the saying. You know what I'm saying? But basically, he he's being is that is that what it is? Saying that he shouldn't have got back in an emotional one night stand. Is that what? Are you saying you don't want to be with her anymore? Or or? he don't. No, it. I I was trying to work things back out with her. You know the trying the the plot thinkings. You don't want to be with her, do you? He's calling the show. uh, Oh, you know what? I don't even know. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, What is he asking? He's calling the show to ask if it's worth getting back together with her. Meanwhile, he should be asking himself if it's worth getting back together with her. Right. He's calling here because he wants the advice. He wants someone to tell him no because he's already asking the question that he doesn't want to be with her. He's asking the question that you don't shouldn't get back with. Already, look at this. Look at Danny. 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 Danny's mad, man. Yes. Danny's, Danny's mad. Danny got his you know How many you, fucking times I've made this do phone you call? Exa- do you see that emotion? Yeah. That right there, sir, was a man who who actually did, did what you just, what did. You just fucking did. And he's living by this guilty conscience because it, that's the thing about dudes. We don't want to be fucked up. You know what I mean? Like I said, if you, my girl is saying to me, man, yo, my shower, my shower's not working properly. You know, can we just move in? Why should I waste this money? Like she's making this this push a play. to move in, and all it is is my selfishness. But you gotta understand this. Never forget this, dude, Brian. It trickles down from you. Everything. If you watch any nature show, there's a there's what they call the, in the ecosystem. There's the there's the predator, the top predator. If the top predator gets fucked up, the rest of the ecosystem shitty, Fucks man. Up. You yeah. understand? If you go somewhere and kill the alligators, yeah. nigga, the ducks is like, where the fuck? Mm-hmm. I need to get eaten. Somebody need to chase me. I don't know what you I'm doing. Giant I'm frogs. out here <laughs> just eating bugs and shit. There you go. So it, you gotta understand, your happiness is paramount. And, and you know, I was arguing with my girl, and she goes, well, I'll be confused. And I go, good, you, yeah, you should, should be, be but I shouldn't. I should be happy, because your happiness will keep her happy, and you'll know how to do the right thing if it's for your happiness. And let me tell you something, she will roll with you. If, if She's not going to go nowhere, Brian. She's not going nowhere, because yeah, you know okay. why? Y'all broke up for a year, and the bitch is still around. Whatever. A you year understand right. what I'm saying? It takes a year. Right. Week. But she, you know, Go ahead. Go ahead, ladies. No. Brian, keeping a woman happy will also make you happy. It's, what? That Investing so time with true. somebody that you don't want. It's that is so idea. not true. When a girl true. is happy, you're happy. If, no, that is not yes, true. Yes, yes. You could be happy. Okay, you, uh, if I go to see some stupid, don't hang goofy up, do not hang movie up. that Listen you want to see, that makes me this happy. This. Because you know you made me happy. You're, you're out of your fucking your mind. Ready? Okay, you're let me tell you your something. Mind. Ladies and gentlemen, listen. Just listen to this. And this is the reason I love having women around on the show. you got to. Because I want you to hear what you just said is what it's we... So it's so selfish. typical. You, what you're saying Wait a second. It's so no, it's selfish. Dante, but it's... Time out, though. It's typical. 
as opposed to self. It's, tip, it's something we heard. Because, you know, what he means by selfish is that you're reversing it again into how you feel. You know, when you know I am even, happy, I make sure my man is happy. But how do you... Do, did you hear... Wait a minute. She Time out. Nobody back. talk. Do you hear what the fuck you just said? When you're happy... I don't, but I don't... So what, on, Katana, so shut up for a second. When you're happy... You want to make your man happy. Yeah. Where does that initial happiness come from that you're talking about? I got to make you happy first. That's what you Your that's happiness what depends on me making you happy, Karen. But you know what? If you don't make me happy, then we're not going to be together. What Do you, you fucking I, hear her? That's what Ryan. you just said. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It's not true. It's because not you know why? why? Your happiness is... Is but day it's to day. It's like a goldfish. You, ha- you don't even. Hold on. Let me say something. You don't even know what is going to make you happy. That's you have true. no idea what's going to make you happy. It's I know your, what makes it's me your, happy. It, and I know what it's your man happy. that figures out what makes you happy. I know what That's makes you happy. What makes me happy, Patrice? I'm not your man, Karen. <laughs> I'm being, I'm being uh, not literal here. I'm saying meaning you being a woman, I'm being a man. Mm-hmm. I know what makes you happy. You know why? Because you think you know what makes you happy. You don't take me to the movies anymore. Hey, now I look. take you to the movies. You don't buy me flowers. Now I buy you flowers. Everything, if you make a deal with bitches, they'll just, it's negotiations with terrorists. And it's I'll tell you what makes you happy. Whatever the fuck, your sadness is going to make us happy. That's what you I'll convince you that you being sad is oh best for this relationship. Not, not only that, but if I, who has to decide? Who decides what makes you happy then? Listen, no, nobody you likes said, the punk. Hold on, turn. Oh, ready? Hey, 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 Brian. Yeah. Now, do you see? Let me tell you the lesson you learned from this right now. <laughs> is this is how, how furious and how much you must protect your happiness. <laughs> Cause this is what she'll do. You see, Kara, she's relentless. <laughs> see, you don't you don't have a microphone to turn off. <laughs> but you got to understand, if you get into a situation you don't want to be in, Brian, whose fault is it? It's him. It's no one but mine. It's exactly. your fault. Let me tell you, cause she's doing what she's supposed to do. Kara is talking like every other parrot you <laughs> ever heard. I, but he. He's investing time in someone he doesn't even want. He should just walk away. You know, he's not sure. He, you know what he wants? He wants what... It's like guys want... And, and again, ladies, please don't get so upset with what I'm going to say, but it's the only thing I can think of. We really, in the early parts of our relationship with you, and even deep into it, we really want a dog. A pet. We want somebody <laughs> who is you. there for us when, when we, we want, need him and how, how we, we need, need him. him. Until we get to a, a place where we we give the dog, just like, it's like, when you feed your dog, you don't feed it. You don't feed your, wait a minute, you don't feed it like, people who really love their dogs, they don't feed their dog like, this motherfucker's hungry again. They go, they go, I gotta go here you go, boy, dad. and they happy to see you ready to eat. Mm-hmm. That That is what we like, we like to feel our women, and again, I, I, there's no way else to explain it. We like to we like to see you. We like to be happy seeing you happy. Like we like to see our dog happy. Like just yeah. just you like, just your happiness woo! that you that's know. Said, wait a minute. Happy, that you, you know, but that that you know, but you no no no, but you try to dictate your own happiness. Let me dictate it. Why? Because I Cause know you better. Because you don't it's, know. It's, you it's don't ego. know. I, if it's I give, and you just if I give you everything you want, ultimately I'm a punk and you toss me to the curb. No, so I have to. So I have to give you. I have. That. I have to give Nobody you what you like need, that. not what you want. I got to give you what you need, and I got to decide what it is you need. What you Basically, want, I what I, we're, we're not talking about everybody. We're talking about women. This is why it's really hard. Let me tell you why it's hard to. This is Karen is a master. Uh, uh, she, another she, thing that women she are good never, at, she's a master at double talk, <laughs> meaning she disagrees with you and as then she's agreeing. Agree, yeah. Because, you know, you have pearls of wisdom wrapped up in shit. You you have just shit wrapped up in shit, <laughs> and it smells like shit. At least mine looks like pearls, bitch. Yours is just shit and shitty flesh.
fly shit too. <laughs> Stinky, maggoty, disgusting maggoty. Maggot, you have, maggot I agree with a lot of the stuff you say. No, no, you're not. You, I don't think this guy should be with a girl he doesn't want to be with. That you did, you that's never that's said that. Because I didn't have a chance. Poppy said that, but you said. I didn't have a fucking no, no. chance. Mm -mm -mm. But I'm saying. Paris, how is it that, that four people in this room and Poppy, to some degree, disagrees with what you're saying, and now you're saying you agree with us. I did not. I never disagreed with the fact that he shouldn't be with her. I'm talking, we, but we're he, talking about but, happiness and who... Yes, like, but he's not saying it. he doesn't want to be... I'm explaining the, the sentiment. What he wants is he's he wants what he wants. See, a lot of times, to get he that... He doesn't know what he wants. He just said that. If this bitch breaks a thought one okay, more go ahead. time... I'm quiet. Holy shit. If... Where was I? Oh, if he wants, this is what he wants, Kareth. He wants her to be there for him. How, this is what the dog analogy was. He he doesn't want to give all of this shit just to get that little bit he wants. He only wants to give the little bit. He doesn't want to be with her when he just wants to really kind of be with her. But to kind of be with her. He gonna have to be with her. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. He wants yeah, I, to. Yeah. He only wants to kinda be with her. So what I'm saying, he has to figure out a way to tell a bitch how he kind of wants to be with her. Now, you know what I used to tell my girl when I kinda wanted to be with her? I said, stay in the matrix. Do not eat the pill that you find out what the surface, fucked up shit is. Surface Stay happening. surface. Do not dig. If you dig, you're going to find something. Now here's, so here's, be happy with fucking here's, what here's, I'm giving you. Here's oh, what ultimately God. happens when you do that. Ultimately, you get everything you want anyway. Because we're not complicated. If you stay surface and you go and you just are easy about everything, then the, then, then, the, then the guy goes. Not, you're on. You're on. The guy goes when that. You're on. Okay. When that when it, when you if this you. Bitch, this, this this bitch, you know what? He was ready to he was ready to fight listen. me. You know she's something. not. You know what? Let me tell you. What, let me, me tell you what Kareth is. She's a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> turn, turn the microphone off. Kareth sat there and I saw her stare through you at this fucking cabin uh. right here. She was not paying attention. Uh. Let me tell you what Kareth is. She thinks she's so smart that she thinks she thinks she's playing two two steps ahead. But really, she's not listening because she wants to make a point without listening to your point first. Mm -hmm. That's why she didn't understand the dog thing. Because as soon as I said a guy wants a dog, I made a, I prefaced it by apologizing right. first. Because right. I understand Although, just the only that, analogy. that how dumb women are. And I didn't preface that. Women are just dumb. Where as soon as you hear that fucking analogy, you're just going to cut off the whole thing. And that, no one hears you. Uh, no one's hearing you right now. So it's just like I just Brian. The reason I want to go through this exercise with Kara because I don't, you don't have a mic there is that see the fucking fury that you have to go through. Now, do you want to go through that with some fucking girl who who's not like appreciating the fact that you want like your space or that you're going through? She's gonna talk to you in terms of what you you're supposed to think, and you feel how you fucking feel, Brian. Don't let her fuck that up. You don't feel like you want to... You feel like what? You feel like you just want kind of a hoe that you care about, right? Right. Free ass. You, you, uh, yo. Why is she still talking? That's Poppy. Somebody different. <laughs> I'm a different <laughs> person. Hey, Brian. Jesus. I'm on Are your you side, dude. Mad for? He's not, you're not on his side. Yes, I am. You're not on his side. All right. Hey, look, man. See you later, Brian. Damn it. I get, thank you, man, for calling. I get so fucking upset because what... No, what happened? <laughs> it's, you know what? I need to be in a box by myself. Everything distracts me, like because my, yeah, my mind is losing. I'm losing my mind because you get you. It, it just it's so typical the shit you saying. Like I may be saying shit, but it's a new brand of shit. At least it's a shit coming from like an exotic creature, like like a jellyfish that you've never seen before. <laughs> but you're, you're shitting horse shit, shit that we see every day in Times Square. On the street, like, cause it's typical, man. How do you tell a guy, like, you know, you should do this and yeah, stop trying to always. The nature of it, Kev, is not that you always d have a, a dueling minds. Some, it's not a fifty-fifty thing, Kev. It's not. It's a sixty-forty, maybe. That's the most you can have to have a successful relationship with a girl.